Most area schools have wrapped up the school year, but there are still two weeks remaining for Sac City Unified. And starting on Monday, students and staff will once again be required to wear masks. A mandate will require all students and staff at every Sacramento City Unified School to wear a mask when indoors. With the last day of school coming up June 16th, that means the mandate will remain for the rest of the school year. And that would also impact the charter and tech school graduations, which are held indoors, but not the district's six main high schools schools, which will hold graduations outdoors at Sutter Health Park. Now this move comes because Sacramento County, as well as several others in Northern California, are now considered at high community levels for COVID. When regions bump into that category, uh, which takes into account COVID case rates and impacts on hospitals, the CDC then recommends people mask up in public and indoor places. But health experts in some counties may not put the mask mandates back into effect. Here's why. In general, um, we're not we're not feeling like the impact on the healthcare system at this point in time um, is uh, at a point where mandatory masking should be reinstituted. But however, the difference between this year and last year when we saw increases is this year the vast majority of the population have at least partial immunity to COVID. A partial immunity means the cases patients have are less severe. Alameda County will reenact its countywide mask mandate today. Masks will need to be worn in indoor settings, including offices, restaurants, and on public transportation. The mask mandate also applies to government offices, health care facilities, shelters, and rideshare services. The mask mandate will not apply to K through 12 students as they wrap up their school year today. The city of Berkeley, by the way, excluded because it has its own health department.